Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. The only problem is the the trailer is slightly... It's, it's about the same height as those. There's actually a little bit less clearance between the top of the trailer. It's slightly higher than the truck trailer over there, which does make it a bit inconvenient. Um... Uh, yeah, the problem that we've got with this is that when the hired help is operating, or even when you're driving it yourself, the ramp for the potatoes, you can lift it higher, but as soon as the potato, as soon as the hired help takes over, it sets it back to that exact position. If you've curled it over and curled it lower, it will keep the curl on it to put it lower down, but it won't let you raise it up any higher than that. And that is the single biggest irritation about these machines. The rest of it is absolutely fine. It's perfect. It's just that they won't allow you to run with the um, the bunker thing there stuck out. You, what, you can't run with it any higher. And that gets in the way of anything else working properly. And I really don't like that. That's a, a particular irritation, and I've seen it reported on, like, I've, I've looked around to see if there's any solutions or a mod that can alter that, and I've looked on, like, I, I found some posts uh, referring to it as a bug in the beginning of the FS19 launch, but it wasn't recognised as such. Those threads were closed without any official response at all, and it just doesn't seem to have been recognised as any kind of bug. So, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, based on the response that has been had, we're not... that, that that's, it's, it's there, and, and there, well, there certainly won't be any changes to it now, but, you know, it, it's a shame. I, I would like there to have been something a bit different than that. It would have made life a lot easier for us if we could have had something a little bit different and a bit better than that. Uh, but that's, that's the way it is, that's the, how things are, so we'll just have to kind of put up with it and see if we can do something a little bit different. Um, we might be able to use that trailer though. That Even though the trailer is a bit higher than the truck, and so it does make it a bit difficult to drive around, it is still a really nice trailer, and I really like the concept of it. And yes, I did increase the capacity up to... 120,000, but I kind of figured that by the time we're doing potatoes properly, um, and we've bought our own equipment, and we're sort of in a position to be buying that, we're using the truck, which is 260,000 for the front one, I think it's another 260,000 for the back one as well, so yeah, 120,000 for the trailer for um, so that we get two full loads tipped into it. I've, it, it seems about right, it seems to be a reasonable balance. Right, now, if I... Re that's 29,936. So if I repair that for 267, it's now 3258. So, yeah, it does actually give us a little bit more money if we repair it. It's not huge amounts, as we know. Yes. And sell. Yes. Okay. Right. We now want to buy a seed drill, and we... Yeah, now this is the prop... I, I don't actually remember which seed drill I was looking at buying. Um, and I was looking at the seed drills, but I don't remember if there was one in particular that I decided that I was going... Oh! It was one of these, wasn't it? It was the... It wasn't the tram lines unit. It wasn't those two there, the four and a three meter. It was this one right here. And I was going to take... There's an 8 meter version, the A600 is the 8 meter version, uh, sorry, the 6, that's the 6 meter version, and that is the 8 meter version right there. Now that's 86,000, that's 76,000 there, without any hopper extensions at all. Uh, I still don't have enough money to actually buy two of these, so we can buy one. But I don't have enough money to buy two of them. It's a little bit of a nuisance. 
So I will buy that. Oh, and we want to go with the faster working speed, don't we? So we want to take that up to 25 kilometers an hour. Buy that bad boy. Yes. And then it will be delivered as well. So I now have 71,800 left, which means that I want to very quickly pop up here. And right, you got 37,900. You got 199, you've got 23,000 in there. So we're going to be able to finish. Wait, not you. you. Ah, yeah, I was looking at it and wondering, yeah, but it's because it's turning round. Um, so you'll be able to finish the field with this pass now, by the look of it. It does actually look like you are finishing the field with this pass right here. So as soon as you've gotten up there, we can get that bit unloaded. Are we going to be able to... Yes, that is it. That's the final pass. Are we going to be able to get all the rest of the potatoes into that, track, uh, into that trailer over there or not? 40,000 litres in there, and no, we're not. We're definitely not. We're already over on the number of potatoes. So we're going to, as soon as this one's finished, I'll dump into that trailer and we can head off to go and sell. Current sell price now after reloading a save game is still, it's below the 600 mark now has dropped down below that but we're still on 591 which is doing pretty well i think that's that's not too shabby i've got to get all the planting done now and i ought really to go and get that one machine that i bought back uh, and get get that one started before you know what? i'm going to do that before i go doing anything else let me go over to this tractor and i want to get this one back to the yard and I will get that hooked into the new seed drill. And I will get the seed drill loaded with fertilizer and with seed. And then I will start planting in the big field with that one. And then once I've done that, then we can go and sell the potatoes. We'll sell the load of potatoes that we've got. And then we can buy the other seed drill. And we can get that one going. And then we can worry about um, the other details afterwards. So six meter sea drill now. That's ideal. Uh, we do want to buy another tractor. That is also on the to-do list. But it's not going to be happening yet. Now wheat is the first thing that we want to be getting. So I'm just going to open that one there. Uh, unfortunately, because I didn't get the extra... I needed to get an extra attachment on the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. We'll do that. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to modify that right over here in the garage. Uh, we want the fertilizer attachment. We don't need... So we got 3,100 there for wheat, right? So if I come over here and I use this when I customize... Hopper extension right there. I've got an extension for seed. So that will take it up to 5,000 litres of seed. We don't need that one. But we do want the fertiliser one on the back. We want to be able to add fertiliser in. I mean, there's only another 1,000 for the extra seed. Um, but we don't actually need it because we do the hired help thing. But the, the fertiliser bit, that is something that we do want. So I'm going to add the 10 grand into that one. Customise, yes. Right, I've added 10 grand into that. Delivery cost 250 is added into that as well. And now I've got a fertilizer attachment on the back, which is absolutely fan jolly tastic. So we'll also be able to go and get that with our new. Um, let's go and put that bit in there. We'll also be able to get that with the next one because of the money that we're going to be getting with this next load. So we put fertilizer in there. You can have 1,600 litres of fertilizer, which is not a huge amount, but it's still better than no fertilizer at all, which is what the default machine would be. So this extra hopper on the back is definitely a good thing. So bring you over here. Oh, that's going to put fertilizer in. I didn't want to do that. Right, there's the seed. I'm going to load this one up completely now with seed. See, we got 60 grand left. Once we sell the potatoes, that will be enough to cover the rest of the seed that we need. And I will 
load that up in there like that now i'm going to use this one at the moment there i'll cover that oh i see it does both of them and then you get little steps come up on the back that's pretty i like that um i'm going to start in the very biggest field right here and then I would, no, uh, back. Don't do that. I want to get the fertilizer that's in the pallet over here. So I'll come over to this side, a little bit away from that machine. Uh, from the, from the fertilizer point. There, I, I loaded up like that. Still a little bit left. Close that one up like that. And then we'll unfold it like this. And we will take a couple of passes along this end here just to start it off actually i'm thinking i'll probably just do one pass so let's bring you up there like that now we don't need to plow after the potatoes we don't need to do any plowing we don't need to worry about the um anything else we, we, we don't need to worry oh there's a line of potatoes there let's we'll pick those up afterwards uh we don't need to worry about the lime either so none of those actually matter in the slightest. So you're going to come out there like that. And then you're going to turn yourself round. And we're going to do another pass along this end. Just wondering if I should do two passes. Like do three passes at this end. Before I go and do too much else. Whether that would be about right. For the field. I'm not sure. I can't go and put fertilizer on first. That's not actually going to work. Because uh, if I do that, then the second round, the fertilizer, it just like it doesn't actually do anything. It it, it does it just doesn't count. Now that's going right to the very edge of the six meter width on that machine, which I like, but I'm not sure if it's definitely going to get everything on sloped ground if it's doing that. So we'll have to just watch that a little bit. It could be that it's been a little bit too accurate to the edge of it. I've noticed that before. See, looking down through there, it looks like it might be leaving a tiny strip. It may have calculated for the hired help slightly wrong. That's why usually the measurements are a little bit inside the actual working width. Uh, in order to get it to work properly. Or it could just be that it's like offset slightly to the side. I don't really know. It goes lovely and fast though. I, I do appreciate the speed that this thing rushes along field. That is fantastic. So let's bring you around here. And then uh, we're going to want another like couple of passes down the other end of the field. But while we're waiting for it to do that. I'm going to get it down to the end of the field. That's not going to take long at all. See we'll just go rushing off up through here. And then once we get down there, we can set it going on a couple passes down the far end. And then I can rush up, get the potatoes unloaded, and then we can go and have a look at selling those and then buying the second seed drill. And of course, this time we will be like, just we'll just buy the fertilizer attachment anyway, because that's something that we want. I didn't realize that the basic machine didn't come with a separate fertilizer tank on it um I, I i thought that it was like a fertilizer extension rather than just a fertilizer tank so i'll bring you over see it will go all the way up to the edge of the field but it's not enough there's just not enough room for it to turn around if it does actually go and do that so if i get this lined up here a minute like that and then I'll put the hired help in charge and let that carry on. And we'll see how that gets on. I'm, I'm just going to ignore it for a second and we'll see how it gets on. Let's start you up and drive you back down to the other end of the field. We've done everything up here. There was maybe a little tiny bit just here. Potentially. Not much, I don't think. Right. I'll finish that. He's actually on his very last pass. Oh, he's, he's just going to turn around and he'll be on his very final pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive all the way down to the other end there. And I'm going to do a pass or two if needs be across the end of the field just to sort of pick up those little bits there. And then that will be finished. And then we can see about 
getting some of these potatoes sold. Can we sell potatoes here at the grain mill? I think we can, but I just don't think that they're worth very much. Um, so we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's have a look. Where are you now? You, you've already gone down to the end of the field there, and you're just turning round. So I want to just bring you over here and line you up there like that. And then I'm going to go... Yeah, you've only got a little tiny bit there. Two lots of 40,000. So yeah, I'm just going to get you... Well, look at you lined up there. Potatoes in here, we've, we can't sell them at the grain mill. It's the port, the ranch, the restaurant... Or the transport company and that's down to five eight four that's dropping pretty quick we're gonna have to get there to the transport company as quickly as we can and let's see look how much there is out the side on that that is an awful lot right anyway we, we've done three passes on here so i'll bring you down this side we've got plenty of room to turn around on both ends of the field now so i can just bring you over this side you're lined up you're ready to go we will buy the extension to get the 8 meter seed drill probably in time for the next harvest, I would think. And although I think we may need to get a bigger tractor to be able to do that. So looking at here. There. Oh, there. I, I thought I seen something moving. It was that lorry there. Right. And over to you. Start you up and just run you along the end here, and we'll see how much we pick up on this bit. I've got... Okay, we're going to get close to a 1,000 litres of potatoes across here. Or 500 litres of potatoes, anyway. Not far off of 500 litres of potatoes just there. Well, that's not too bad, considering that potatoes are like 580 per thousand liters so we got 250 euros for just doing that little bit yeah the, this 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 trailer this this tipping trailer the one where it, it tips out the back um i really like it but you've got this issue right here the height of this thing see i can lift that up i can lift that to a much more sensible height and keep it up there but as soon as I do that I engage the machine it lowers it back down to a default position you can lift it up as soon as I start the thing up lower it down into the potatoes that spout drops and I hate that I really do I absolutely despise that it does that it really irritates me more than I can possibly describe I imagine I'm not the only one that feels this kind of frustration with it. It is incredibly irritating that we've got this wonderful, wonderful machine. Actually, I just want to go to this one. What have I got? i got 47,000 litres in there. So I'm just going to go and take this lot right now, and then I'll come back for the other 47,000 litres that we've got in that one. So we take this, then we can buy our second seed drill... We can put that one going in the smaller field next to the one that's being done at the moment. And then I can offload the second lot of potatoes, the 47,000 litres that are left. And we can run those down the bottom as well. Get everything sold. And then we focus on planting wheat. We've bought one big combine. And we've got one smaller combine. At the moment, the tractors we've got are coping. They're not brilliant with it, but they are coping. We're kind of hoping that... Uh, well, I'm kind of hoping that what I'll be able to do is have the uh, next harvest. And then once that harvest is in, we'll be able to use that money to upgrade a tractor or maybe even two tractors. Um... Although I'm also wanting to upgrade the other combine as well. I know having one combine upgraded already is, is definitely going to be making a difference. Oh, I love that noise. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. That is such an amazing noise as that runs down that hill there like that. Oh, 
I love the engine brakes. It really reminds me of the place that I lived when I was a teenager. Um, we were about a half a mile away from the main road where we lived. So you didn't hear the traffic unless the wind was sort of blowing in the right direction and that. But there was quite a steep hill there. And um, so you'd often hear the lorries going down that hill with the en and the engine brakes running. So you would hear that frequently and that would echo up and down like it's a big wide valley. But it you'd hear it all across the valley whenever that was happening. You you would always hear that. It was brilliant. Absolutely loved it. All right, we have easily covered the cost of our next seed drill now. That is absolutely fantastic, which means we'd better get that one underway. I got another 47,000 litres of potatoes still to sell, which is going to be another 20 grand at least. And so there's a nice little bit of extra cash going to be coming in there. That's taken us all the way up to just, just pennies away from 200,000 euros sitting in our bank account. Right, let's go. You are whizzing across this field in no time at all. Are you actually planting it, like, thoroughly properly? You do appear to be. You've got the fertilizer going in. The wheat's going in as well. You appear to be planting everything properly. Ideal. I can cope with that. Uh, you're not the one that I want to use. You are the one that I'm going to want to use. So we're going to go and we're going to place the order with the shop right now. Cedars, and it's going to be this new cedar that we want up here. Uh, I don't want the CTF tram lines units. I just want this one. I want this to go all the way up to 25k. We're keeping the A600 model, but we are going to be adding a fertilizer extension on it. And then later we will upgrade to that one, but that's another 10 grand. Plus, that's also extra horsepower to pull that extra bit on the width. So I don't want to do that just yet. So I'm going to buy this one for 86,000. Like that. And there'll be a delivery charge as well. Right. So let's get that one going. I'm just going to load that one up quick and I'll start it in the field over there. I will do the small field afterwards. And that leaves me with 111,000 euros here. That's uh, not going to be enough to buy the new combine, is it? So I could potentially... But the only other thing that I could do is possibly buy a new tractor. Um, right, if I'm going to buy a tractor, I'll want to do it sooner rather than later because we'll go into negative monies with that. Uh, what tractor am I going to want to go for? So, I mean, at the moment we've got a stayer and then we've got two other tractors as well. I honestly don't remember which tractors I was looking at. I kind of like the idea of that one, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't remember which ones I was looking at. I was thinking that the Valtra would be nice. Uh, the Fent Vario would also be nice. That's 165 with upgrades on this one we can go to 240 horsepower i don't really want to go with that i was also thinking maybe the john deere but that's already well that is 280 horsepower um if i go with the bigger engine that's a 300 horsepower tractor right there which is not too shabby but it's 238,000, and i haven't got that kind of money not at the moment not even selling a tractor 200,000 for a Valtra, which will give us a 250 horsepower tractor. Uh, we do want a GPS system on a tractor for doing ploughing when we buy new fields. So I'd probably have to get it on, if I got it on this one, that would be, well, I see, I don't have to get that. Uh, that's going to be 196,500. Now I'm going for this because I've actually seen a tractor with this colouring driving around not far from where I live. Um, it is that kind of crimson colour. It's not purple. I was wondering whether it was purple, but no, it's, it's closer to that. It's not quite that either. It's sort of part way between the two. 
Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've seen a tractor with this kind of colouring on it. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking that uh, with the engine upgrade, we're going to give us 196,000. We can get GPS. We can add that on later after the fact. Uh, that means I need another $100,000. And the tractor, if I was to get rid of one of these tractors here, I need to go into the garage and have a look. Uh, one of these fences is 27,000. One of these fences, see, that one's done 28 hours. It's 27,000. This one's 50 grand, and that's only done eight hours. So that'd be the one to sell. That one right there, and then you haven't done very much see and the little combine that's only 50 grand so we're going to be running two different size combines for the next harvest if i want to be able to upgrade the traction i like the idea of running a valtra um having that extra horsepower because that can go on the trailers and that should start to make a difference for the speed that we can move those trailers around and get things bought and sold which is kind of like this this kind of the whole idea we, we want to be able to make some money on this and get some things done within a reasonable time frame and we'd be able to do that if we could go a bit faster with our trailers we just close that one up there and close those we'll unfold this one we get started going along here. I'll do the little tiny... I might end up doing the little tiny field as the very last thing I do. Rather than doing it before. Um, so I'm going to need 200,000 to be able to get the Valtra. Which means I've got to get that truck back. And I've got to sell the sell one of these tractors sell the more expensive one the 50,000 one and bring you back it's not this one actually it's it'd be the other tractor that we want to sell not this one here that I'm just now using uh because this one's got 28 and a half hours on the clock right here I can see sell the other tractor that's got to be 50 grand. Sell the potatoes. That's going to be another uh, 20,000 something. So there's 70 odd thousand. We won't be far off. Maybe we do it without options to start with. Just get the planting done. And then time we wait a night or two with the money that we get from our passive income that we have now. And yeah, I've had a lot of feedback about the fields, and you all agree that uh, field 15 and 16 should only be counted as one. Um, we can't really go counting that as two separate fields. So, I mean, we have now bought uh, another field, but uh, we still don't have enough. So that's one field there, because we... Uh, I think we started out with it or something like I can't remember. But anyway, we're, we're counting that as one field. And then that's two, three, and four right there. So we've still got to buy another one before we've got enough to even cover the solar panels that we've got right now. So we won't be buying any more solar panels for a little bit. We're going to focus on getting more machinery. Uh, well, we're nearly done with buying all the machinery that I want to buy, actually. The main thing that I want to focus on soon... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. And for those of you wondering, the paid promotion notification that came up at the beginning of the video is because in the description down below, you will find a link to Fanatical. I have an affiliation with them. If you use that link, I will earn a small commission on anything that you choose to purchase. But that is all we have got time for. So if you have enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.